we're coming right back at you with our uh, uh, Fate by Numbers gameplay video. It's a walkthrough. Where Alice was getting close to solving the mystery, so she's planted a bug on this lady. Let's see where, where she, what information she can obtain now. Hello, you've reached... Why would I want to track that? Let's track the information here. Tracking device, it was my trusty old tracking device. This baby never failed me. Just plant a bug on whatever you want. And you can see the position on the title screen. It's ideal. You can cut and track the position. And the benefit of being being uh, on shot range. The hack tool didn't work on that. There's no re there's no reason to. There's no reason to. Why would I want to track that? Side, see where else I can go. Let's get some more information out of the parrot. Let's see if we can get some information. Bartender. Jack, you got another minute? Sure. Barman always listens. Just don't expect a sensible answer. How's business lately? How's business lately? Same old. Bad. But not bad enough to quit. I missed you, though. Thanks. Yeah. You drink whiskey like it's lemonade. <laughs> Just kidding. You're more sophisticated than the regulars. Did you hear anything about a deal going on in Sainsbury? Did you hear anything about a deal going down in Sainsbury Station last month? Nope. Sorry. Just check out. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks, Jack. I'll let you get back to your work. There was no point in tracking that. There was no point in tracking that. Why would I want to track that? Okay, that's not helping. Why would I want to track that? Alright, that's not helping either. There was no point in tracking that. Maybe you can identify some photos.
There was no point in tracking that. Does this mean anything to you? Nope. Sorry. This one. I needed another use for the picture. Does this mean anything to you? Nope. Sorry. I needed another use for the picture. I needed another use for the picture. The picture was useless that way. I didn't feel like using the guard because he was already being used. He doesn't interest me. I didn't talk to things. He doesn't interest me. There were some pamphlets. I didn't talk to things. I didn't feel like shouting at it. Besides, it only registered video. I had nothing to throw away, and I wasn't going to pick up what was in it already. Doing that won't help me. There must be some other way. This is a personal message. I wasn't planning on using it for anything. I needed another use for the picture. I needed clearance from the desk clerk first. Where is the desk clerk? It was two guards from Alistair. They were guarding the scanner. If anyone went through it with illegal possessions, they'd shoot first and ask questions later. To be safe, I left my gun in the car. It was two guards from Alistair. They were guarding the scanner. If any I needed clearance from the desk clerk first. I didn't feel like using the guard because he was already being used. No thanks. I enjoyed other works of fiction. It was a waste bin. It was almost empty apart for some candy wrappers and an apple core. I needed another use for the picture. He doesn't interest me. He doesn't interest me. Okay, so let's see. I think I figure out what to do. Same first station. There's a somewhere. There was nothing to use. I had nothing to wait for, and it couldn't tell me anything about this. Damn, where did she go? Ah. Track her. Oh. What did they say? That they have to let me go. That I was undermining morale. Those hypocrites. As if massive corruption isn't undermining morale. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Sorry. Where was your support as a superintendent? I didn't Academy hear Award one winning protest, acting huh? here. If I had supported your theories of fraud, they would have sacked me as well. That's what couples do, Robert. They support each other. Who 
What do you mean theories? I have a shitload of facts to back me up. Still, I think it would be better if I stayed in my current position and see what I can do. You're just covering your own ass and you know it. That's not fair. Look, I know you're upset, but just remember whose paycheck got us this place. If, if I quit now, we both your be... paycheck without... is just a payoff now. I'd rather live in a box. I really have to stop waking up like this. Handcuffed. Robert! Alice, I'm sorry about the bump on the head, but security has to be strict here. It's good to see you. Yeah, better than last time. And where is here, by the way? I never wanted you to get shot. I was very worried, but they told me you recovered well. You were the last person I expected to see when I got off that train. Here, by the way, are the underground tunnels of the city. We're in the mobile headquarters of the Resistance. Where have you been? Where have you been? Ellis, the defense, gave me a new identity so I could join the Resistance. In the meantime, they arranged my disappearance. I'm sorry you had to go through it. That didn't stop you. I searched for years. I broke down, you fuck. I'm still picking up the pieces. And what about your parents? Our marriage was over. We both knew it. I assumed you'd move on. I was wrong, unfortunately. And for your information, my parents knew about it. They just signed a form and kept quiet. Alistair pays them so they can spend their remaining years somewhere nice. Why are you in the Resistance? Why are you in the Resistance? Well, I started out as a spy for Alistair. My superior, General Walters, wanted to put an inside man into this growing group. They wanted me to go after the new PCAP equipment. Well, this way they would be able to get a hold of it without any other security company suspecting. What kind of new PCAP equipment? What kind of PCAP equipment? It's just called 2.0 for the moment. It's an upgrade from the old system, but the new system can actively search for data rather than wait for someone to scan manually. But it's much more than that. It is really amazing. Not only can it read the information contained on the chip, it can actively alter brain patterns. Uh -oh. You lost me at upgrade. Why is it so important? Well, you know about the PCAP chip that's inside everybody, right? Of course. Well, this government has little real power. Commercial armies control politics. The government has one last trick up its sleeve, though, and that's PCAP. Without PCAP, this city would turn to chaos, and none of the security companies want that. The government, too, is afraid of the growing unrest, so they devise a way to be able to permanently control troublemakers. 2.0. And here's the really clever bit. The new system uses a transmitter, which can send a signal to the chip to overload the brain. What? That means that... They gave humans an on-and-off switch. Think about it, it's the ideal weapon against any revolution. With one single transmission, an entire mob can simply drop unconscious and wake up in jail an hour later. That's scary. Why haven't I heard about 2.0? Why haven't I heard about 2.0? Well, it's still experimental and top secret. I suppose you would have heard about it when it was presented to the general public as the ultimate safety guarantee. But we got a hold of it. Do you remember the collapsing building accident in Central two months ago? Well, there was no accident and the police knew it. But what could they say? Where is this equipment? Where is this equipment? Well, we have it, in a safe place. You see, that's the beauty of this train. As soon as we're discovered, we can move. What's the Resistance going to do with 2.0? What is the Resistance going to do with 2.0? Well, PCAP works both ways. I assume the Resistance is going to use it to protect the innocent, also to reinforce its own position. With 2.0, the Resistance will be a powerful new player in this city. You assume? Don't you know what's going to happen? You assume? Don't you know what's going to happen? Well, I've worked my way up to the higher levels of this group, but I'm not one of the founders. The final decision still lies in their hands, and... Well, they don't always agree. Some have more, well, violent plans than others. I suppose you've got extremists in any ideology. And what about you? What's your ideology? 
Well, I started out as a spy, but this group could really make a difference. You know, it's like how we felt when we first joined the force. I remember. We were naive. No, it, this time it's different. We've got actual power. In fact, I want you to join. I, just, I can't just join and throw away my old life. I can't just join and throw away my old life. I'm not asking you to throw away anything. But what do you have to throw away, really? Your, your friends, your career, you have neither. We were happy once, can't we give it another try? You've got some nerve. You've played dead for years. You show up again with a power-hungry rebel group, with some sort of doomsday device, and you want to give us another try? But this time we can really make a difference. I've heard those words before. And? I'll think about it, okay? That's all I ask. Now, you're not a member yet, so you have to leave. I'll blindfold you and escort you out. Just like the old days, huh? In the old days, I'd handcuff you. I remember that. They're not too tight. Good. I really meant it about giving it another try, you know? I know I can trust you, but I must ask you not to speak to anyone and to only take the blindfold off when you can't hear the train anymore. Okay. Rob? Yes? That briefcase you carried, it contained 2.0, didn't it? Yes. Contact you soon. I deserve that, and probably a lot more. Oh, and please don't buck Miss Denton again. Damn, they took my gun. Uh -oh. And the photographs of Robert and the cab. Now or two. This is a personal message. I wasn't planning on using I didn't have to use the tunnel again. No. There's no reason, there's no reason, he doesn't interest me. Book him, Dano. It was two guards from Alistair. They were guarding the scanner. If anyone went through it with illegal possessions, they'd shoot first and ask. Singer, again, you do not seem to have an appointment. Just tell General Walters that I have information about PCAP 2.0. 2.0? Just do it. Please, sit down. What can I do for you? I know you use Robert as a spy. How did you feel when you were telling me that bullshit story about Robert's fatal mission? I've got a proposition. I know you used Robert as a spy, but did you know that Robert turned devil agent for the resistance? What? Who told you that? I spoke with him today. That's awful. Fuck, that's bad. Did he tell you what 2.0 does? Well, I was hoping you'd tell me. I understand it's very powerful. It's powerful, all right. Those goddamn maniacs. 
were your plans for Robert? What were your plans for Robert? I'm sorry, I'm not at uh, liberty to... Disgusting. Doesn't matter anymore now, anyway. We wanted to get the technology for ourselves. Not to use it, but to make sure that no one else used it. Right. Right. It's true. Listen. All of the security companies work better with a little scare. But who needs a citywide terror? We didn't want to change the status quo. And nothing, nothing would have changed if the government hadn't decided to back that, that lunatic inventor. Do you know that they, they captured him once, those terrorists? He escaped from their fucking train. Can you believe it? That's why we had to have a spy. We figured if they tried it again, we had to know about it. And if they had 2.0, we'd let them have it. We'd let them tinker with it until they had nearly perfected it. Then we'd take it back. It was a perfect plan. Yes, it almost worked flawlessly. Except for one thing, it didn't. Your husband got greedy. He figured they could become a big player. I've got a proposition. I got a proposition. I'm listening. I can get you, Robert, and the technology. How? You wiretap me. I'll get into the secret headquarters. Robert will contact me soon. I go in, and you guys show up when I give the signal. And I'll make sure I have what you want. You're on. It's gonna cost you. Sixty grand for the technology, and a hundred for Robert. You don't come cheap. Okay. I'll contact you as soon as I hear from Robert. I'm beginning to think we hired the wrong portman all those years ago. I don't respond well to the chain of command. As far as I'm concerned, you got what you deserved. It was General Walters, Robert's boss. You could see most of the upper rings, and a lot of sky, which is a luxury. You could see most of the upper rings, and a lot of sky, which is a luxury. I've got some more to ask you. Go ahead. How did you feel in telling me? I've said enough. I've said enough. I'm going. You know the way out. I couldn't use the view, only the There are some pamphlets. They probably told you all about the wonderful security they could provide. They probably didn't mention the risk of arson and intimidation if you refused their services. Back out. Time's up. It's me. Have you made a decision? Yes. I may want to join. But first I want to check it out for myself. Well, that's very unusual. I want to know the people first, or else I walk. Fair enough. I'll meet you at Victoria Station in one hour. See you then. I'm so glad you decided to come. I haven't decided anything yet. You will. You will. I promise. You know the drill. Have you scanned her yet? I don't need to. I trust her. I don't. James always scans. Well, James isn't here. Jeff, how long until we connect to the mother train? Half an hour. Tops. Good. In the meantime, I'll be in my office. You two have already met. Jeff, this is Alice. She's okay and she's thinking about joining. Thinking? Thinking? What's this then? A tour? Just tour. tell her what you want to tell her. When we get there, I'll take her to James. 
James always checks the newcomers before meeting them. This one is different. You've got everything locked away, Rosie. I'm sorry, Alice, but I won't be making the same mistake again. Not now I'm in charge. Right, we've got our work to do. Walter's hooked me up with the tiniest transmitter I've ever seen. You've got to hand it to them. They've got the right gadgets. All I have to do now is get both Roberts and the technology. Then the troopers will move in on my signal. Okay. Save. Progress. See, this is on the train. Gamers like to thank you for watching me play Fade by Numbers, classic style point and click adventure game. If you like this video, please like it and check out the links below this video. I'm the Geeks, and until later, thanks for watching. Bye.